YouTube, Sam here. Well, we're going to do another scrapping video. We're doing the alternator here off my forward escape. Um, first of all, I want to make a shout out to my sister who is starting her own scrapping channel. It's called She Scraps. Uh, so I'd appreciate it if you went over there and checked her channel out. Um, if you are from my channel, tell her I said hi. Um, she's doing a bunch of scrapping videos. She also has a uh, old house that they're uh, remodeling as well from completely gutting it out. It's not just a remodel. It's a complete gut and redo uh, that they're doing. So go check her channel out. Lots of scrapping stuff. Lots of the remodel stuff. She also has some pretty good stuff on uh, money saving tips I guess you would say. Those kind of things. So. It's a little bit about her. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you go out and check her channel out. That she scraps. Um, hi, sis. Anyway, and we're gonna go ahead and do this alternator here. Now, normally, when you used to in the back in the old days, anyway, when you change your alternator, you had to bring this in and replace it for the other one, and they'd go and rebuild it. Nowadays, they just guess want you to throw it away. But instead of throwing this away. You could just take this in the way it is and make a few bucks at your scrapyard. But I figured instead of doing that, plus, I should say also, you can rebuild these. You can buy kits to rebuild these, which I may actually do. But instead of doing either one of those things right now, I'm going to pull this apart and see what's inside. So uh, if you want to know what's inside an alternator, at least the one for this escape, uh, stick around. Okay, well, we have uh, a couple of things of, I believe, aluminum. It could be magnesium. But I'm thinking a little, just like cast aluminum. Um, and I cleaned out that. Uh, this had a plate on it here. You saw me pound this out. Uh, so I cleaned that bearing out of there. So that's all clean. Then you got this stuff here, your copper. Um, now obviously this needs pulled apart more. Um, you got another bearing here you could probably take off and use on something although I think I think these bearings are probably not so great. Uh, especially because this one you have to bash in the middle to get it to come out. Uh, but you might be able to use them for something that doesn't really matter just needs a little bit of bearing. Um, obviously it needs torn apart and we'll have to take you know try and separate the metal from the copper in here and uh, I'm not exactly sure how yet so I'm gonna have to mess with that I may do another video down the road of getting this kind of stuff apart because I got a lot of this kind of stuff that's just kind of difficult to separate even this kind of stuff it's got stuff you want to separate if you can and it's kind of difficult um, I've found a couple ways of doing that with some of the other motors so maybe I'll do a video on that down the road but there's your copper and whatever would be left from that will be just steel you got kind of a nifty shaft here you could use if you can get that off and then you got your pulley here uh, pulleys are always useful for different things uh, so I keep those yet again another bearing then just I'm thinking a piece of steel yeah so that's just, you know, you can use that for some sort of washer or cap for something you have. 
there's the electronic stuff um, you know we can pull this apart there's probably some uh, copper in here that we can pull apart and bash this apart with a hammer until we and I thought get I'd throw this in here as well uh, in this piece here there's the brushes which are useless and uh, busted that up and there's kind of a little computer chip in here some gooey stuff and an aluminum heat sink so a couple more things that you can get out of these you got your aluminum I'm assuming aluminum cast aluminum here but all this stuff is just like plastic and stuff so this has to be bashed off here with a hammer and this well this is after up. I've shot that video and uh, I thought I'd put this in here because after kind of beating up on this uh, looks like some kind of sheet aluminum of some sort up underneath that plastic and then this piece is a big brass thick brass piece which I'm kind of peeling off with a screwdriver and a hammer um, the reason I'm showing you it right now before I get it all apart is because it's gonna probably be unrecognizable by the time I'm done with it because I have a feeling this is gonna break pretty good but if I can more I can clean this up more I can get out of it it's not much but you know busting it up which is kind of fun anyway so thought I'd but show that to you is it worth tearing apart uh, also I don't know if you can see that we got quite a few nuts bolts and screws um, I like these kind of things because you can put them on like if you're building something you can put it on there like that as kind of a spacer and then you put your like washer or something and then have another nut on there and it makes kind of a good I don't know lack of a better way a spacer on things so I like having oddball things like that but I'll throw those in my bolt bin and then so far that's all the plastic and we got you know obviously some more on this and some more on this but those I'm going to tear apart more so you know really is it worth tearing apart it depends on your yard how much do they give you for complete and how much do they give you for separated most places are going to give you more money for separating this kind of stuff but if you're just some guy that you know needs a couple bucks and you have an alternator laying around and you just have the one thing you know rather than throw it in the garbage go ahead and take it to your scrap yard they'll give you a few bucks for it and you know it's gas in your tank all right well that's about it please go check out she scraps my sister's channel i appreciate that very much this is sam jack of all master none you all have a good one